Okay, in this video, we're going to walk you through the initial setup of your Max EFI 500 system uh, once it's been installed in the vehicle. When you turn the key power on, uh, the unit will power up. Now from the main menu, select Initial Setup and then Engine Setup. When you get into Engine Setup, you'll enter in a few basic parameters. Keep in mind that when you change each parameter, you'll need to press down on the joystick to send your new parameters to the ECU. Each parameter needs to be sent to the ECU individually. First, you want to select the number of cylinders. You can change the number by pushing the joystick left or right. Then push down on the joystick to send. Second, you'll enter in your engine's cubic inch displacement. After that, you'll choose the aggressiveness of your camshaft on a scale of 1 to 4. A rating of 1 would be a near stop cam. A 2 would be in the 210 range, a 3 would be around 225, and a 4 would be closer to 240. Next you'll choose your rev limit. This is where the system will cut fuel off. Now fuel cutoff is not as hard as an ignition cutoff, so be aware that residual fuel present in the system after the cutoff would still briefly run the engine above your desired RPM limit since the ignition is not cut. Then you'll set your desired idle speed. This is the RPM value that the IAC valve will try to target. In addition to this, you do also have to physically adjust the idle screw out on the TVI unit itself. To do this, you want to back out of engine setup and go into idle setup. Scroll down to the third parameter labeled idle screw set mode and change it from normal to adjust. Go ahead and start the vehicle and from the main menu go to the dashboard and find the IAC steps. This value should be between 3 and 10 at operating temperature. If the number reads 0, then turn the screw out counterclockwise until the IX steps value reads between 3 and 10. One thing to note, if you're running a fan or other similar accessory, this will add some extra steps to the IX steps value because it's compensating for the extra load on your alternator. This completes the initial setup of the Max EFI system. Your vehicle should now be ready for a test drive and for the system to begin its self-tuning process. Thanks for watching.